Hello and welcome magic lovers. For this week's Rogue Wednesday, I decided to bring back uh, Mizzix of the Is Magnus. And uh, I played this deck a long, long time ago. Well, I mean six months ago. And uh, it didn't do particularly well, but this this deck has a certain criteria. Its criteria for success is different than, you know, a normal deck where you're looking to win. This deck, if you get to you know, ep epic experiment for like 12 at some point in the game. Um, it feels pretty awesome even if you end up losing. Although if you get epic experiment for that much, you're probably not losing. But basically we just want to hold on to our commander for a couple of turns. And then it, the deck does really well after that point. But um, it's going to be hard in this format to get to that point. Um, I hopefully made it a little bit better. I've made some changes this time around. I have rounded out the lower end of the curve with some more interactive spells and the like. So these things don't necessarily combo well with Mizzix himself because he's looking for higher mana cost. So you want things like uh, Temporal Mastery where you're only paying two mana but it has a mana cost of seven or uh, the, uh, the other... Um, where is that? Uh, temporal Trespass, same same thing. You want those kind of spells where you're paying less than what it actually, the actual mana cost is. Uh, Gush is another one that I put in. Um, that one's actually new. I didn't have Gush in before. Um, so maybe I cut Gush and then... Because I, I seem to remember I had it, but then... No matter. I, I We'll try it out again. Um, so, But I added a bunch of interactive spells in the early game. There, there's... You know, you might still be able to play Mizzix and then, you know, hold up Spell Pierce and then you get your first counter off the Spell Pierce and then you work your way out from there. But a lot of times, if you're just lightning bolting, you're probably not going to get any counters, but you're getting rid of an important creature from your opponent's side of the board. So, it I think it balances out a bit. So, and unfortunately, Sweltering Suns, uh, a nod to Edgar Markov, but Sweltering Suns does kill Mizzix. So you want to be careful of that. But uh, I still think, you know, this this build of the deck is probably going to be at least a little bit better than the last version. Um, which is not to say that it's going to be good. Again, the, the basis for uh, success is, you know, getting to do what the deck wants to do once or twice out of a few games. So let's let's see if we can get there. All right, I got a match. I am on the play. Playing against Zedru the Great Hearted. Um, hand's a little bit awkward. But I think I can keep it. Let's play a mountain. Say go. I won't have to discard with the Is It Boiler Works next turn. Hopefully I don't run into a wasteland. It's a little risky to be playing that land still. I think I just didn't look at the mana base. These days, every deck is playing wasteland, basically. It's a safe assumption. Guess we'll find out. Zedru, by the way, don't see him very often. At the beginning of your upkeep, you gain X life and draw X card, where X is the number of permanents you own that your opponents control. And uh, it's also got a donate ability so that you can make it so that uh, you, uh, you give your permanents to your opponent. More of a uh, multiplayer commander. I'm honestly... Never really seen it do that well. Even in multiplayer commander, but in this in this format, alright, I'm can't do anything about that, but I'm not really winning with damage that way. Anyways. So Alright. Oh, I could have is it charmed it. 
I honestly don't think I care. I can stroke a genius for one. I don't think that's a thing I should be doing. Opponent plays a tapped vivid meadow. I do have a Mizium Mortars that can kill Zedru. Now I have a Daze, although the Daze probably not gonna. It's not gonna counter Zedru unless they draw. Don't draw land. I can now stroke a Genius for two, so they do have a land. All right. Looking to play around my counter spells. Ugh. I have missed a land. Probably discarding days. We'll see what else. And Comet Storm pretty expensive. It's not somewhere I'm looking to be yet. I could play my commander. I'm guessing they have removal. I don't have anything else I'm doing though, unless I'm reiterating something. I'm gonna play my commander. They could have a counter spell as well. I'm still just gonna play my commander. I kinda want them to play them to play Zedru and then I can just kill it. All right, Mizzix survives this far. Let's see if he just dies. All right, there's Zedru. That's pretty good. Let's Mizium Mortar Zedru. And I'm going to take another turn. So I've succeeded at the extra turn. And I'm untapping. All right, Jace. I'll play Jace. It cuts down my stroke of genius, but it's still a big stroke of genius. And Jace lets me uh, recast the time warp. So I guess it's three, I get, I get a stroke of genius for four. It's probably still worth it. Unless I get to rewind something. That would be awesome. Nope. Um, do I want to use this extra mana? I could hold up two mana here. Stroke a genius for, what's that, five? 
Yeah, that's fine. Maybe I should have held up an extra mana. All right, that's pretty good. I think we're doing it here. Uh, let's draw a card and discard a card. Follow the Titans is pretty awesome. Frantic Search is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and do that one. And then let's recast Time Warp. On ourselves. Let's frantic search for one mana, untapping three lands, one of which is an Is It Boiler Works. Um, I'm not worried about the ancestral. Let's get rid of the mountain. And uh, I'm just going to close this out because my opponent's probably going to scoop to this. Land, land, days. That's all I needed to do there. So I'm taking two more turns. Uh, let's play this land. I'm going to plea for power to draw three cards. Um, I can't actually, I could have reiterated that. I could have reiterated probably any number of spells here. Um, cause I get six mana off. So for two mana, I get to reiterate and buy back, uh, knowledge. I don't need the time. I need the cards. I've got two extra turns already. All right, time stop. Put in some damage. All right, let's tick up Jace, uh, just okay. And so, I don't have any more ways to draw cards or anything like that. I could sack, well, I guess we can do this. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll get rid of... Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, went off pretty hard there. That was awesome. Eventually, I probably would have found something really, really big to do with all of this. All right, I got another match. I am on the draw against Sir Rock Dragon Claw. This is probably going to be a tough one, and I don't really care for this hand. There's not enough lands in it. Uh, that's not great, but uh, I don't want another land. I'd like to be able to do something eventually. All right. Logic Knot is kind of something. Although, if I'm lo Logic Knotting their turn three drop, all right. Nothing yet. It's a bribery. It could pay off. Nothing from my opponent yet. All right, we got a second counter spell. Maybe I should have kept that top land. You want to draw, you want to hit all your land drops in this kind of a match. 
Although my opponent might just be going straight for Ciroc. There's a land. At least I can bribery them and force them to not Ciroc or counter the, uh, they can't counter the bribery and Ciroc. Yeah, let's just, uh, force them to make that hard decision. It's probably an easy decision. You counter the bribery. And then you just play your Ciroc the next turn, unless you don't have a counter spell. Then a bribery is not good news. All right, they have a disdainful stroke, strange counter spell, but okay. I don't know if there was a way I can stall them out for another turn, because then I could snap cast for bribery again. Looks like they actually get to, oh, they're cycling sweltering suns, okay. All right, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Hmm. Didn't see that one coming. I'm probably going to play Mizzix. They put a card on the bottom, all right? So they don't know what my top card is. It could even be a boat. All right, so I drew Cryptic Command. Pretty good. I'm going to play Mizzix. I have this Logic Knot I can hold up. I can shuffle away if they put a card to the top of my library. Not likely Logic Knot's going to work against this much mana open. And they can just bounce it with Jace. All right. Nope. They put a card on the bottom. All right, so I don't need to shuffle here. Goblin Electromancer, it's pretty good. They're taking up that Jace. That Jace is going to become a problem really soon. Oh, I did miss a land drop, didn't I? Let's play the Electromancer. Here comes a rock. The question is, do I bounce the Jace in response? I don't think I do. They'll just replay it. All right, let's take some beats. Not much I can do against a 6-6 that I can't counter. My opponent actually doesn't have to do much of anything on their turn.
Makes all their creatures uncounterable as well. Can't do anything there. I can counter the lightning, the chain lightning. Bounce a Jace. It's a fairly decent chance they have a counter spell. All right, no counter spell. All right, Windswept Heath. They just have another removal spell. Cyclonic Rift. All right. They are worried about the Electromancer. Um, see, because I didn't draw a land. If I had drawn a land, well, I can Turnabout, Snapcaster, Bribery. It's not great. I could Goblin Electromancer turn about. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Maybe I probably shouldn't have tapped all my mana. If they find a way to counter this, which would be hard. Land, untap. Let's go for Snapcaster. Bribery. What have we here? Alter Ego. Elder Deep Fiend, Primeval Titan, Teferi, I think it's hard not to want the Primeval Titan. And what lands can we get? What lands can we get? Oh, they can bounce Primeval Titan with Jace. I forgot about that. They can do that with anything I get, though. So, beside you, I think it's pretty obvious. And I'm going to need this Wasteland to deal with the Kessig Wolf Run. Yeah, giving them a Primeval Titan was probably a bit foolish. You think? Because I was thinking they just played Cyclonic Rift and I was kind of in the clear because, you know, but it turns out I am not. Not even close. I didn't have much else I could do, but giving them a primeal titan, not not the smartest move in the world.
All right, um, so. So, Tech Jace, I've got to rewind. Please get rid of that. Can't really beat this primeval titan. Um, I'm actually taking 10 damage next turn. Ugh. I can play Mizzix for six mana. That doesn't really do all that much. Compulsive research. I need a way to like bounce a rock in response so that I can counter the primeval titan. Obviously, I'm just going to discard a land. I'm going to play a land. Now I need to draw two cards. I can't really afford to do anything, really. I'm done. I guess we're gushing. Epic experiment for three. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm dying. But I'm doing it. This is much better than conceding. I'm done. Oh, it's four. Can't be countered. They can counter the other spells. I don't know that I'm just... Can't say any number of spells. I can none. <laughs> <sighs> All right, I might have done that to myself, getting the primeval titan and forgetting about the Jace. I needed to counter the Jace on the way back down. I should have waited another turn. I think that's what I should have done. I am on the play, playing against Tassiger. All right, I think this is actually a pretty good hand. Flame Slash doesn't kill Tasker, but um, Ancestral Vision is great. Rewind is great. Uh, Fumeral is a little awkward, but it's there. I'd like to play at turn one, but not playing the Ancestral Vision on turn one is almost certainly wrong. Give him the U2. Play our Misty Rainforest, fetch a Volcanic Island, and play Ancestral Vision. Now, Tasker is a real deck, and it might be pretty difficult for me to beat it, especially since Tasker itself is pretty hard to kill for, in a red deck. But we'll see how we'll see what happens. Not getting thought seized on turn one, that's a good sign. All right, I'm gonna play the Fumeral. Might end up compulsive researching next turn. But, well, I don't know. I don't get a counter or something, but I don't have a counter spell right now. I wanna make sure I'm hitting my land drops. That is the most critical. The other thing with Tasker is it's a very removal heavy deck. Umazawa's Jit. All right. Well, I do have a braid somewhere in my deck, but I can't like ever play my commander with that Jit on the board. All right, that does theoretically eventually 
I am going to play the compulsive research. Don't like tapping out, but uh, we'll discard two cards. We'll go time stop and museum orders, I think. Definitely want the land. Now they can't quite hit Tassiger yet, so definitely looking to rewind uh, Tassiger if I can. Uh, not quite, I don't think. Looks like they're not going to anyways. When does this resolve? Next turn. All right. I could pull from her tomorrow for two post rewind. I don't know how good that is. I do need a land. This comet storm is probably really ambitious. So that's three cards so they can cast him for three mana. Let's see if they have like a spell pierce or something like that. Stubborn denial. That's too bad. That actually really hurts. All right, well, I draw four cards next turn. Maybe I should have held on to the Museum Order so that I can double bolt. Tassiger, I didn't consider that. Turn target instant or sorcery. Seven mana for that. Comet Storm. So I can kill Tassiger for four mana and two cards. Is that worth it? Probably. I can't deal with that jit. Hopefully they can't recast him next turn. Then after that I can hold the logic knot up. And then I can do a volcanic vision, which can do a lot of damage. Uh, I can bring, you can get time stop back and then all right, there's a thought seize. Do you take Logic Knot or do you take Pull from Tomorrow or do you take Epic Experiment? Is the question. I'm guessing Pull from Tomorrow. I'm getting up to six mana. A pull from tomorrow. Yep. Okay. That makes sense. A pull from tomorrow for four is a big get. All right. There's a treetop village. 
That is something that can wear a sword. So I cannot afford to play Mizzix. They'll just equip the treetop village and run it in and then kill Mizzix with it. And that would be very bad for me. So let's just say go. They can still kind of do that, but I might be able to draw an answer eventually. Just throwing away my Mizzix doesn't make much sense. Yep, there it is. Hmm. I could trade with a Fumeral. How right is that? I'm going to let it go. One, two, so five we're up to. All right. I'm just going to say go. I'm, I was thinking last turn of using the Is It Charm, and now I'm leaning a little bit more towards drawing with it. I might do it in response to this. Hmm. Could logic not that for five. I'm going to let that go. I don't like my opponent drawing three cards, but... I am going to is it charm here. Days isn't going to do anything. Volcanic Visions, I didn't really want to let go of, but getting rid of a land can't be right. That's pretty good. The Past in Flames. So now I can, no, I'm not epic experimenting. I'm not really in a position where I have to do anything right now. Just going to wait it out. This is fine. I actually like my opponent tapping down that much mana. Counters are going to become a problem, but they're not yet. Sorcery speed removal is really starting to bite me, though. All right, that's that's pretty darn good. Uh, can I wait? An yeah, I can wait another turn before I, I really have to do anything.
I was a little too impatient last game. Although I, last game I was facing down 10 damage. So I'm not sure I would have should have waited another turn or not. That one was just a hard one. All right. You got it. So the, the counters are starting to become a threat. And now I can't chump with a wandering fumarole. I wonder if I should have that first turn. All right, they're they're going for damage. They're going for maximum damage. 11 damage. That does hurt. I think I tapped that right, but I'd like to make sure. Uh, let's discard Past in Flames. Lightning Bolt is an exceptional draw. Uh, Sweltering Suns, pretty good. All right, I'm just going to say go. Uh, Sweltering Suns isn't very good. It's uh, the cycling. At least we have the cycling. Might be able to get my opponent to tap down a bunch of mana here. Countering back my counter. And then that might open up the door for me. Uh, days is no good in my graveyard. That one's no good. Time stop I don't really need. Ancestral I can't bring back. And I need one more. Um, I guess it's Comet Storm. And then I'm going to cycle the Sweltering Suns. In response to this counter spell, and I might as well do I gush? Yeah, I think it's close. I'm going to let it fly. It's so close. I don't want to pick up a land. If I draw another land, especially next turn. Do I play around Spell Pierce? Well, I can Time Spiral here. Then I get rid of the Epic Experiment.
think I'm just gonna play around days and go for a big epic experiment. I don't know. It's doesn't feel great. I don't know if this is big enough. I'm dead next turn. Unless I hit like an extra turn spell or something like that, then I can probably do something real. Are you kidding me? Oh, another whiff. Yeah, yeah, it was. And I'm dead. Well, that time, I don't know, maybe I waited too many turns. Alright. Died of the Jit. Jit is crazy good. Alright, I got another match. I am on the draw. I'm playing against Avison, Archangel of Hope. Um, and I do not like this hand. So we're gonna mulligan it. Uh, this is slightly better. And Spell Pierce is not where I want to be, I don't think. So Avison, this is Big Mama Avison. For eight mana, she is flying indestructible and other permanents you control have indestructible. She also has Vigilance, um, which is actually quite good. Um, I drew Jace, which is very, very good. Unless it dies, then it's less good. But if I can even get one loot off of it. All right, Amillary Sphere. They get a search for two basic lands put them in my their hand so card advantage that you can get in white drew a land that's good it's tapped which is less good but hopefully Jace lives a turn I guess if he eats removal then he's protecting Mizzix so White doesn't have that much removal to worry uh, to lean on, but they do have um, Oblivion Ring type effects, which they just hit at three mana, as well as Banisher Priest and all right, a Monolith. Geez, that is a big jump in mana. So they are two turns away from casting Avison. I need a counter spell or I need a um, a braid. We'll go ahead and draw. Probably get rid of this reality spasm. All right, there is a hard counter. So I can't protect Jace with that. I need to I need to hit Avison with that. Um, unless they hit Cavern of Souls, which would be very bad. Alright, they are activating the Amillary Sphere. Once Avon hits the board, I can't do much except Bouncer. I don't have that many bounce spells in the deck. Alright, they uh, obviously got two planes. Can't get much else. Leon and Shikari. Do I care about that? 
I mean, I can burst lightning it. It uses my mana well. Just kill it. Well, capsize is interesting. Ugh, not hitting a land less interesting. Let's discard this time stop. I'm gonna I'm gonna frantic search. I don't like doing it. Oh my god. <sighs> I do not like that I didn't hit a land. I could have flipped Jace, I guess. I can flip him next turn. And then if they go for this Abyssin, they're two turns off doing it again. Because they have to untap the Basalt Monolith. They also have to continue to hit lands. Um, they are casting Nevermore. Presumably hitting Mizzix. Not going to counter it. Um, I can eventually capsize it. I could capsize it now. I could also cast, capsize the Basalt Monolith. But I don't really it's whatever we'll worry about it later I wasn't going to cast there's no way I was going to cast Mizzix next turn mine's eye Alright. I'm going to let that go. I'm honestly not that worried about that. Alright, there's land. Discard a card. Um, I can always get turnabout back. It doesn't do much this turn. None of these spells really do that much. Just take up Jace. Play land and say go. I might, if they don't cast anything, I might capsize the Mind's Eye. I do now have counter spells or Snap Pastor counter spell back now. All right, they're playing a Pearl Medallion. I don't know if I want to capsize. Like, I'd like to be able to overload, uh, buy back capsize. But. Marshall Coup. They're creating two 1 1 soldiers. Alright. Yeah, they get one card. Yeah, I'm going to let it... Yes, I would like to do that. They can draw a card. I can also draw a card. Unfortunately, this does approximately nothing. I 
I can tick down Jay. I'm not going to tick down Jace. And I missed another land drop, so now I'm going to take it down. And now I could just compulsive research, but then I have to draw land. I don't know, they can't play Avison yet. I could just compulsive research. Um... Let's go two cards. It's a bit late for Ancestral. I'm going to play this, uh, the untapped land. Finally hitting my lands. Alright, uh, Kytheon is fine. Not great, but fine. Alright, drew another land. Um, I think I need to kill Kytheon. Oh no, they can uh, make it indestructible, can't they? They do have a way around that. It's not great. I think I still need to kill Kytheon. Oh, they let me do it. All right, let's pick up that mountain. And we're real close to being able to capsize with buyback. Because the mine's eye is going to start becoming pretty inconvenient. I don't want them to draw more cards than I can counter. Or at least deal with. Accident Warhammer. All right. I'm not going to let that fly. I'm going to, um, I'm going to Snapcaster bolt it. I don't know if I'm going to block the other one.
I am. The benefit of keeping Jays at four and not giving them something to put on the Loxit and Warhammer is pretty big. They get to draw another card. All right. Um, nothing super great in my graveyard. We'll just take out Player Island, say go. Third enough mana to Avison. Naturally. Um, I don't think I can do both, but if they play Avison, they can't use the Mind's Eye. Uh, both Counterspell and Capsize. There are only two real cards in my hand. All right. I could block. I'm not going to. Grisella. Just flying first strike lifelink. All right. I do have capsize with buyback. And then I'm going to fetch out a land. Uh, plea for power. Huh? Hmm. How I pilot here is actually really important. There's not a lot I can do. I don't think plea for power is the way to go. I can now hold up a counterspell and bounce. So let's... Just biding my time right now. I know from playing Pauper that this is miserable to deal with. Um, can, I still can't plea for power. So it's one, two, 
three, four, and keep up cap size. So we'll, we'll play beside you. I can at least capsize Avison. Ooh, no, okay, that's not. I was thinking that was the uh, scavenger grounds that would uh, exile my whole graveyard. Did I take up Jace? Yep, I did. Okay. Um, I'm going to go island. All right, you got a mine stone. All right, you got Grisella. to do that or just that all right uh that's pretty free twice Do I want to wait till I can capsize this thing? I think I do. Because that would be much better if I can, in the same turn, capsize Nevermore, cast the capture, uh, recast my, or cast my uh, commander for the first time. I'm going to just pick Knowledge. I don't, I don't care about it. Well, an extra turn would actually do the same thing, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to vote for an extra turn and then they can pick, uh, knowledge if they want. And that's fine by me. I almost picked that myself. But the upside of capsizing the Nevermore, casting my commander. Um, all right. Um, Although it might induce them to quit, I think it's correct to cast the, the one in my hand. Then I can actually re get both of them back. I think it's pretty much over anyways. Hmm. 
And then I can factor fiction. And now my uh, cap sizes are a lot cheaper. Well, I want spell burst because it counters everything. Well, I don't know if it counters Avison. I still think I want it. Although reiterate it lets me copy every spell for two mana. They're both very good misuse the interface apparently or they don't care anymore yeah i think it's once again correct to cast it out of my hand let's attack first oh i'm overpaying it's three mana And then um, let's capsize that thing. And let's capsize that thing. And let's capsize that thing. This is not Nice. I forgot to take up Jace. I think, I think they're starting to see the writing on the wall. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it went off pretty hard. Uh, this is the not nice way to play this because capsizing and taking infinite turns, I would not be, like to be on the other side of that. I feel a little bit bad about that, but it was so much fun for my side. I'm torn. Another match. I am on the play. I'm playing against the same opponent, it looks like. Uh, this hand is a clear mulligan. Eh, this isn't great. I don't know. I have no spells I can cast. I'm going to mulligan again. I don't like doing it but and there's nothing to get with that so let's just say go worst case scenario I'm looking to play my commander on turn four it's not great all right there's a gush that I can't cast I probably should have played the Cascade Bluffs as a bluff. Because <laughs> then I'm keeping up two blue. Uh, there's the Shikiri again. Shikari. They gain a life from the Soul Warden. And I'm taking a bit of damage. can't play uh, Gush, but it's not all bad. There's that monolith again. There's still two turns away. I guess they could draw an Ancient Tomb. I'm going for it. I know I just drew a counter spell, but let's hope I don't live to regret this. If 
if I untap, I could conceivably turn about, then time warp. And then possibly gush for like two mana. Three mana at that point. Still not great at three mana. It's kind of good because it's free. Alright, so my opponent is one turn from casting Avacyn. And there's a Warhammer. They're not looking to equip it. I don't know how good turnabout for a counter is. I guess we'll see what we draw as well. Oh, they can equip as an instant. Okay. So they're not casting Avacyn next turn. They're gaining a bunch of life. Looks like they're on a life gain plan. I'm doing it. I didn't draw land. I'd like to draw land. Land on tab. I could presumably, I won't get any counters if I don't do, so then it's two counters and then I can't cast the time warp. And then I'm taking damage. I could, I could get another counter and then and kill the Shakiri and then I'm taking four damage next turn. And they're still not playing Avacyn. But I risk that they draw something to kill Mizzix with. I don't know. I think I I think I want this counter pretty bad. And they have to spend most of their mana to re-equip the Loxidon Warhammer. I'm just praying they don't have anything to kill niv -Mixic. I'm really close to casting this Volcanic Vision and getting back what Turnabout, doing four damage to all their creatures. All right, they're equipping the, uh, the hammer, going at my face for four more damage. It's actually a good sign for me. All right, let's uh, let's do the time warp. Do I attack? Sure. Let's hope I don't regret that. Nope. Okay. Fiery confluence is a really good card. Although I can Volcanic Visions get back the turnabout. Although this destroys two artifacts, does one damage to each creature. It's a complete blowout. Oh, I overpaid like what, didn't I? I forgot it was only two red mana. Now I can gush for one. Oh, I could have gushed there for one mana. Got to be careful not to uh, throw away value. All right, there's a disc. That's not great. I gotta keep all the counters though. All right.
I can stroke a genius for like six. Do I do it for four and leave up two mana? And then I might draw an answer to this disc. I don't know how many there are. Or do I just not worry about the disc? I think I don't care about the disc. I want the cards. Maximum greed. I should have sacrificed that ahead of time. It should theoretically force the disc. Um, now this is only two mana, isn't it? Oh, I do have to pay two more. That's ridiculous. I'm getting very close to an absolute blowout uh, epic experiment. I really think they should have blown up this disc by now. At this point, I don't think it matters. Midnight Haunting. Oh, that sucks. I overplayed my hand a bit. I'm only slightly punished for it because I didn't, I cast all those spells before attacking. I'm going to Wasteland first. And then I'm going to Mizzix. And then I'm going to take turn three of four. Alright, this is this is actually where it gets ridiculous. Uh Past in Flames. You have to blow up the disc now. But then I can do this all over again. Alright, they release priority. So I get a time stretch again. Oh, it cost a whole nother mana. Man, it's very expensive. All right, and then I, I'm gonna, I don't want this sitting over my head. So, Two damage to each opponent. Destroy target artifact. Let's kill that artifact. I probably should have attacked first. Uh, 
There it goes. I have no idea how many turns I have left. So I think I didn't draw land. I think I have to snapcast or turnabout. I don't like doing that, but I, I need to get Mizzix back on the table again. We'll just get an island. Because I really want to win with a giant epic experiment. All right. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, I was going to. Like, if it, if it had played out, I would have gone for a giant egg of experiment. It would have been 8, 10, 12, 13, at least. I would have drawn that next turn. Oh, I could have reiterated the epic experiment. So counterflux, temporal trespass would have been in there. Cryptic command, uh, Mizix mastery. Yeah, I mean, the game was over. All right, got another match. I am on the play, playing against Edgar Margolf, and I have. A whole lot of lands and a whole lot of nothing else. I'm going to mulligan this. Alright. It's something. I don't know if it's great. I doubt it's good at all, but... Um... Yeah, I think... I don't know. Jace? Mana leak? No, let's put it on the bottom. Let's go... Hope Jace doesn't get killed, but this deck doesn't have a ton of removal. Honestly, I don't think I'm that well suited against this matchup. But we'll see if we draw what we need. I really only have the one board wipe and then the really expensive ones. Like Mizium Mortars and Volcanic, whatever the thing is that... Uh, oops. I am going to block with Jace if they have, I mean, there's not really any such thing as a one point uh, damage spell in this deck. So either they kill it or it blocks safely. I, I don't, I don't think there's any in between where it blocks, but then they kill it. All right, they're transforming the air of Falconrath. Search for Ascanta. Yeah, I think I actually want that. And I think I'm gonna wait and block with Jace and then Activate it. It's a shame we don't get the mana leak, but I think Search for it as kind of getting it down. Although if they have Captivating Vampire, I'm pretty much dead here. And it looks like they might have Captivating Vampire. They're, they're looking to cast something before combat. There it is. All right, I should have kept up mana leak. Um, yeah, the card is stupid. All right, got another match. I am on the draw. I'm playing against Itali, Primers, Primal Storm. New one. All right. Um, hand's not great, but I'll keep it. Fiery Confluence might do something. Not 
not going to look to daze anything that I could fiery confluence or that. All right, a braid. So rebel enters the battlefield, target defense. What? Okay, it's a three two. Um, they're an artifact deck. I want to use fiery confluence for as much as possible. Days isn't going to be good for that much longer. I don't know. All right. It gives me another daze. I think I am going to abraid that thing. And I don't know, I'm I'm a little worried about playing Mizix here. That I might need to use the fiery confluence. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what happens. That's what this deck is all about. I probably shouldn't have done that, actually. This is more of a control deck. Yep. So that was very mana efficient. All right, so... Hmm... I'm going to pay two life here. Prom plea for power. I want to draw cards. Just want to fill up my hand. And I drew Reality Spasm, Temporal Trespass, and Time Stretch. A bunch of really expensive spells. All right, Relic. Ooh, that's not great. All right, they're gonna use it right away though. So, puts my temporal trespass out of range for now, but it only exiled three cards. All right, this time I'm not gonna play my commander blind like that. Azor's gateway, draw a card. Uh, oh, it's that thing, okay, uh, no. is three not interested all right I'll hold that up I don't know what it counters counter something for one for free it counters something for two paying two life becomes that thing all right uh no i can't i don't like getting rid of this thing but i don't know what that does what does that do do i care about that yeah i do care about that i'm a grindy deck i'm a control deck i don't want to have something i can't deal with running around
one, two, three, one, two, so no, not yet. Oh, I could, I did have fiery confluence. I keep forgetting that's in my hand. I might've been able to save some counter spells at the very least spell burst. Logic not, I don't care so much about. Um, just fill out my graveyard for tr temporal trespass as well. Do I want to play my commander before a temporal trespass? It's a little bit risky. I could just lose my. I can swan song. Let's go for it. Dealt with quite a bit of my opponent's hand. Uh, there's a good chance I can just go off here. Hour of Des Devastation. Swan Song. Besides, he's cost me about a lot of life. Day not. I thought I could do another one. So three, seven. Yeah, okay. So there's no reason to do the beside you if that's the case. Can't get in. Um, one, two, this is 10. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not quite there. I can reality spasm to untap a bunch of lands and then take two more turns. Yeah, that's it's hard for that to be bad. Oh, I have to do seven, huh? Uh, so I need, oh, I can, I can one, two, three, so seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's, that's, I, figuring out the interface. Untap all my permanents. Me. Take another turn. Take two more turns. Um, let's draw three cards for two mana. All right. Um, let's take another turn. Let's Museum Order is that thing out of the way. Let's play the Fumeral. Pay a couple more life. Let's 
Let's see what we get. How many turns do I have still? Three? All right, I'm going to put Mountain in my graveyard. And then I... <laughs> Six Mastery. Oh, man, I've been dying for this card. Cast with Overload. This one, me. This one... Uh, oh, that one doesn't matter. So that one, draw three cards. Can I? Yeah, we'll, we'll cancel on that one. All right, and then uh, let's get in. It's Tezzeret's Gambit for mana, and then proliferate ourselves. Done. And then Snapcaster Mage, Tezzeret's Gambit. Oops. Didn't mean to spend life on that. All right, uh, and then let's, might as well electrolyze them. Whiffing a lot here. A lot of lands. Uh, yeah, I don't think I need Goblin and Electromancer anymore. Of course they hit another land. Still no idea how many turns I have left. I want to flip this. Uh... Uh, search for Ascanta. Since I'm drawing so few lands. Or so many lands, so few real cards. We'll put Count Flex in the graveyard. Yep. I still drew another land. Uh, let's get Deep Analysis. We'll draw, we'll cast it. Oops. I probably should have activated the funeral. No idea if I have another turn or not. I do, okay. I think I might actually win with damage here. So my opponent decided to time out of that round, um, but I had them dead that turn. I just needed to swing with all my creatures, and then I had the, the burst lightning to kill them. So decked it better than I thought. I mean, it's certainly not going to break the format anytime soon. It's certainly still vulnerable to removal on the Mizzix, which we saw quite a few times. Um, I was better able to play around it with this version of the deck than I was the last time around. I think I've learned a lot about the format and I think just kind of waiting, biding your time and building control of the match and then playing Mizzix and going for it is the better strategy. Um, I think I didn't play it correctly that way a couple of times. So, you know, I mean, that's just, you know, I just built the deck and I've only played with it a few times. So that's bound to happen from time to time. But, you know, if I played it more, I would I would probably learn and get a little bit better with it. It's still very weak to removal. And again, that's like every good deck in the format, um, including Edgar Markov. Like you need a lot of wrath to get through an Edgar Markov deck. Um, you could probably build it that way. But then, you know, Mizix gets sweeped away with all that. Maybe you just establish control 
But then you're diluting your deck so much against the rest of the decks in the format. So, you know, like, I, it's it's never going to be a tier one. This is just, like, a fun deck to play if you don't like having friends. Um, because um, everything I've complained about in Jace, this deck does in spades. It just takes a ton and ton and ton of turns. Um, I did love playing time, time Spread that many turns. I'm so glad... Uh, the Mystic's Mastery was actually pretty unimpressive this time around, but it did get me two more extra turns for three mana, which is pretty impressive. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I thought the deck was a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.